Amazon Kindle Take Apart Guide. The on off and Wi Fi buttons are on the back. The volume, headphone board, USB, and charger unit is on the bottom. To begin, slide the gray plastic piece on the back off. Then you can remove the eight Phillips screws from the back. Now to remove the battery, use a small flat tool to pry it up and then unplug the cable. Now use a very thin flat tool to separate the casing along the seam on the edge. Be very careful in this process to not damage the casing. Once the casing begins to separate, the back case will come off. Now you will need to remove the metal shield by removing the two Phillips screws that are holding it down. Once the screws are removed, simply pull up on it and peel back the tape to remove the metal shield. Now to remove the on-off and Wi-Fi switch module. Remove the two Phillips screws on the module. Next you will need to unhook the cable. Use a flat tool to lift up on the cable lock. And now the module will be loose. To remove the Wi Fi antenna, start by removing the metal bracket that holds down the Wi Fi antenna cable. Then use a small flat tool to lift up on the antenna board. It is held down with adhesive and only needs to be separated from the back case. Next to remove the scroller wheel. Remove the two Phillips screws holding down the board. Once the screws are removed, the board will flip back, however, it will still be attached to the frame. Now to remove the expansion module. You first have to remove the cable. Use your flat tool to lift up the locks on both sides of the cable and then remove it. Now remove the four Phillips screws on each side of the module. Once the screws are removed, the module is free. Now remove the black antenna cable. 
Remove all the tape holding it down and then unhook the cable. Now remove the black and red wire cable connection here. And then the flat cable connection here by using your flat tool. And also the flex cable here by using your flat tool to lift up on the lock mechanism. And then right below the speaker where there is another flat ribbon cable that has to be removed. Now remove the two Phillips screws that are holding down the main board. Now the main board is free to be removed. Now remove the four Phillips screws that are remaining on the frame. as well as the Phillips screw that is left on the speaker assembly. Now, right below the large next page button, there are two white tabs that have to be pressed down. Once they unsnap, you will see that the front case begins to come loose. And now the large next page button can slide out of place. Now you can peel off the rest of the front case from the LCD. When doing this, be careful to not damage the LCD. Once the front case comes loose, you will notice that other parts will begin to fall out. One of the first parts to come loose is the keyboard module. And also the keyboard. The back button should then fall out as well and shortly the front case will come loose. Now the two left buttons can slide out of place and be removed. 